For the next part of our video, we're going to take a look at how to enable all of the organ systems on our user interface to be able to move around the screen. If we take a look at our app at this moment, we can take the brain and try to slide it by using our finger or drag it across the canvas and nothing's going to happen. And the same is true for all of the organ systems that we have right now. What we need to do is to be able to enable them so that when our finger touches the screen, we could take that organ system and move it from its current location. In order to do this, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our block view. We already have all of our variables set, so the next step is to go and use an event handler which is called when dragged. That will allow us to get the current location and then from there drag it to a new location on the screen. So we're going to go ahead and focus on the brain for right now. So what we're going to look at is in our block view on the left hand side, we are going to make sure we find the brain. Make sure you don't grab the placement, those are those little dots that we see, but rather the image sprite that is the organ. So we're going to go ahead and select the brain. From here we're going to go ahead and use this event handler when brain is dragged. So we're going to go ahead and bring that in. And what we need to do now is we need to make sure we tell the brain that when we drag on it, that we want it to move. So going back into that brain, we're going to scroll down and find a block that says call brain move to, and it's going to grab the X and Y coordinates. Now right now it already has your starting points. We've already logged them into our variables and it's also logged into these local variables as well. What we want to do is grab this local variable, which is our current X, and we're going to take current X and place it on the X coordinate. And we're going to do the same thing with the Y. Grab the current Y and we're going to get that current Y. That's now going to allow us to be able to take that brain and move it across the screen. So as you see, wherever I move it, it's going to go to that location. Now if we take a look at the other organ systems, nothing is going to actually happen with those organ systems. We need to make sure that we go ahead and do the same thing for the remaining three organ systems. One way that we can go ahead and do this is by simply taking the when brain drag event handler, right clicking and selecting duplicate. Here you'll notice that we now have an error message because we have two event handlers with the same name. We're simply going to go ahead and select the brain and now we're going to go ahead and change that to digestive system. Just make sure that not only do you change the event handler, but you also move and change your call block as well. Those two should match up in order to move your digestive system. So now that that is done, we should be able to grab our digestive system and we can move that as well. So now that we have them, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the remaining two. And just by duplicating those event handlers, we can go ahead and change again our brain. And this time we'll change it to the respiratory system. And then we'll do the same thing one more time and change it to the urinary system. Now that you've completed all four when dragged event handlers, we should now be able to move any of the four organ systems on our canvas anywhere on the screen. Now that we've gone ahead and completed the when dragged event handler, the next step is to use a new event handler called the touch up. The touch up is used to allow the user to stop touching the sprite or basically lift their finger off of the touchdown event. Once that happens, it provides the X and Y position of the touch relative to the upper left hand corner of the canvas. We may have to do some adjusting with our placements here in order to get these into the correct location. So in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our block view. We're going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit and we're going to go ahead and focus on the brain since that's what we only did for the on when dragged. We're going to go ahead and find the brain again, but this time we're going to be using the touch up event handler. So now with our touch up event handler, what we're going to look at doing is using a condition that's going to basically allow, did it collide with the placement? If it did, we want it to stay there. If it didn't, we want it to return back to their original location. So in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and use a logic statement. Now we can find this logic statement or condition 
in our control statement here. So we're going to go ahead and use an if then else statement. So you can see you have an if then, if then else, if then, else if, else, which we're going to be using at a later time. But for right now, we're just simply going to be using our condition of if then else. So basically, we have one condition with two possible outcomes. Either your condition is going to be met or it isn't. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find out what happens if the brain actually collides with the correct placement, which would be the brain placement. So in order to do this, we're going to go back to our brain and we're going to go ahead and find a collide with. So we're going to call the brain to collide with the brain placement. So here we're going to go ahead and find the brain placement and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to grab this command and drop it in. So now our condition is set. We're basically now saying if the brain collides with the brain placement, what we want to have happen is we want it to be able to stay in a specific location. So in order to make sure that it is right on top of that placement, we're going to go ahead to the brain and we're going to tell the brain that we want it to move to. So we'll call the brain to move to and we're going to go ahead and grab a variable here. And the variable we're going to go ahead and use is going to be our global brain placement. So that is going to be the X and Y coordinates that we set for the brain. So here you see we have our global brain, brain placement on the X and we're going to go ahead and duplicate that and we're just going to go and change that to our Y. So now once the brain collides with the brain placement, it will automatically be locked onto those coordinates which we set earlier on. So in this case, it's going to go to our X value of 129 and our Y of 13. Now that we've called it to do that, we want to make sure that it can't move. So in order to prevent your brain from moving, we're going to go ahead and find the brain. We're going to go down and set the brain enabled. We're going to drop it into that then statement. And we're going to grab a logic statement here that says false. So basically what's going to happen is once that brain collides with the brain placement, it's no longer going to have the ability to move. We'll get it to move again later on by using that reset button. Now the other thing we want to go ahead and do is we want to go back to that brain placement. And that's that dot that we see. And we don't want to be able to see that dot anymore. So we're going to go ahead and set the visibility of that dot to also be false. So now that dot basically is going to disappear. Now all of that is going to happen only if the brain collides with the brain placement. So what actually happens if it doesn't? So in this case, if it doesn't actually collide with that brain placement, we're going to call the brain to move to again. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate my then and drop it in my else. The difference here is that we're actually going to change our variable from the brain placement to the original brain X. And we'll change our Y to the same, same thing, global original brain Y. So there is your touch up feature where now you can see if we go ahead and take our brain and move it and it doesn't collide with the brain placement. When I let go, it's going to snap back to the original location. However, if it does go up and connect to the correct placement, it's going to lock into place. Now what you will notice is that the brain is not really in that correct location. And what that basically means is we need to go up and change our variable a little bit. It looks like to me that we need it to go to the left. So I'm going to actually change my brain placement from a 129 to a 120. And then we can go ahead and let's take a look at our Y axis. I'm going to make it go up a little bit as well. So I'm going to change that to maybe about a five. And if we go ahead and let's just refresh our companion screen here and we can go and test and see where that actually goes. So again, if I drag that brain up to the placement, you're going to notice that that looks a much better spot than where it originally was. What you'll need to do is go ahead and duplicate your event handlers for the brain. And you're going to need to do a touch up, not only for the brain, but for your digestive system, your urinary system and respiratory system as well.